Uh, hello, I'm Krzysztof from uh, Tokenika. Uh, this video will be about voting for block producers on EOS. Uh, I hope that you already know that uh, this topic is actually pretty uh, important. Uh, I will not, I don't want to spend too much time describing uh, why is that. So I will just mention uh, one thing, for example, that there is additional rule written down into the code of the EOS blockchain that if at least 15% of people would not vote for block producers, uh, then whole network will not be considered as fully activated. Uh, so uh, that actually will mean that people will not be able to transfer own funds between uh, different accounts or for example to the exchange. So actually this means that uh, this is in our best uh, interest to actually vote uh, rather sooner uh, than later. So um, I cannot tell you for uh, how you vote, I mean for uh, which block producers, you have to figure out that uh, on your own, but I can tell you a little bit more how to vote uh, securely. And the, one of the most secure way of voting is actually voting uh, offline. And okay, but why this is important, right? Uh, basically, when you vote, you need to use your private keys. And this keys is exactly the same keys which will allow you to manage your funds. Uh, so it's extremely important to actually make, make sure that uh, you will not uh, expose your key to some third party uh, entities uh, which will, I don't know, uh, do s some strange things. Uh, even if you trust some website uh, that, which, which for example may give you some interface for voting, you have to remember that those websites can be hacked. Uh, you, for example, also can have some uh, virus malware, uh, malware or maybe keyloggers on, uh, on your computer. And all of that actually uh, creating a risk that if you would like to use your private key, uh, you may end up losing your funds. So, of course, we do not want uh, that to happen to anyone. Uh, and actually, there is a way to making to make every transaction very, very secure. Uh, why is that? Because uh, it is possible to generate every transaction offline. For example, from a computer which was never connected to the internet, and you do not have to be connected to the internet. Uh, either when you will generate such transaction. Uh, thanks to such me mechanisms, we uh, are able to show you that you can also generate voting transaction. And this is a topic which uh, we want to present you in this video. So take a look. Uh, okay, so as you can see here, we have a website uh, with address tokenica.github.io, secure BP voting. Uh, here is uh, the website which will help you actually prepare you to, to vote. Mm, but first, let me show something. Uh, we would like to emphasize that, that this is uh, fully open source. Uh, so we actually really encourage people to not just trust us. You should not trust, you should verify everything. Uh, so we would like to just show you how and where you can uh, do that. Uh, you should, for example, notice that we do not use some uh, any additional uh, libraries. We just use one dependency, which is dependency uh, directly uh, pulled from um, official GitHub uh, EOSIO, right? Uh, so basically, uh, if you have some skills, please audit our code before uh, you will use it uh, to make sure that uh, this is exactly what you need. If you don't have uh, necessary skills, please ask your friend or someone with a little bit more experience. Uh, okay, let's go to, to actually this step. Uh, please read everything very carefully. You will learn more or less what I already said to you that you have to be careful. Uh, okay, but okay, let's focus on actually voting. So there are three steps and two of them needs to be done uh, online. Uh, so let's open three, those three uh, pages here. Uh, and I will show you also how to do this step offline uh, by saving uh, all necessary files 
and transferring them to another computer. Uh, okay, so first step, we need to provide API endpoint. So what is, what is that? Uh, when chain will start, uh, community will publish information about uh, entry points which will allow people to actually communicate easily with uh, the network. So you can uh, ask the community what are those entry points, uh, endpoints, and you have to use one of them. For example, here we have example endpoint. Uh, and just click load. And as you can see, here you have some basic information uh, about the chain. Uh, you have to make sure that this is the, the chain on which you want to vote. And we have here two information which we will need to actually generate a valid transaction uh, later offline. So please do not close this tab. Please, if, uh, please leave it open. Uh, but we can actually go to step two. Uh, and here we have uh, next step, which is uh, more important. Uh, as you can see, the first thing which you have to do, you have to save this. Uh, and then you will have a possibility to actually vote off, uh, offline. So let, let's take a look. Okay, we have this uh, file here, uh, HTML file, and also, as you can see, an additional uh, dependency, which was uh, pulled directly from the GitHub. Uh, and you need those, uh, this file and this directory uh, to actually vote on another computer. So let's let's do that. Uh, so let's unplug uh, the pen drive and let's move to another computer. Okay. Mm, okay, let's uh, take a long on that. Yes. Uh, not pulpit. Uh, uh, yes, here. Uh, as you can see, here we have two files. Let's copy this uh, to desktop. Why not? We can delete that from the pendrive. It's not needed here right now. Uh, and what next? Next, uh, you have to just open that with your browser. Uh, and before that, I actually uh, um, have to show you that we are currently 100% uh, uh, offline. So that means that there is no risk of exposing your private key uh, to anyone because you are offline, uh, you are uh, in the control, right? So, okay, let's uh, actually generate uh, a transaction. Uh, to do that, you will need to know your account name on EOS. Okay, but from where you will get your account name? Because after registration, your uh, tokens, you only have uh, private and public keys. Uh, when new chain will be uh, announced, uh, you will be also able to find uh, information w about generated account name, which was attached to your public key. Then you will know what is your generated account name. Later, of course, you will be able to create a new account with a better name, but at the beginning, you will have some uh, generated name. Uh, in that case, because I'm testing this on the uh, private testnet, uh, I will use account which uh, I know I have. Uh, in that case, this is noisy noisy. Uh, and here I have to do first step, which will uh, require me putting private information. But one more time, this is secure because we are uh, completely offline and we are in the control of what is uh, moving from this computer, right? So uh, if that would be the main net, uh, probably I would not have my uh, private keys uh, on the computer. Probably I would have it on some paper wallet, on some very secure offline location. But for the convenience of this example, I have this here. So I will just open it and I need a private key. Make sure that you copy private key. Mm, okay and paste. Uh, okay, this is one thing. And here you have a list of block producers on which you want to, but you need to actually know 
uh, names of uh, blog producers which you want to uh, support. Uh, if you make a typo in one name, uh, whole transaction will be invalid, so make sure that you know what are you uh, doing. So I know that in uh, this uh, testnet there are blog producers like uh, blog pro do one and blog pro do two. Uh, exactly. So I will vote for those two uh, producers uh, at once. Uh, let's now uh, fill this with the number which we have generated uh, earlier. Mm. Okay, eight seven five seven four six and ref block prefix uh, two five five three uh, four six nine four six nine eight nine. Or eight. Uh, please make sure before you will generate a tra uh, transaction that you actually put everything in the uh, right place. As you can see, please triple check everything. Account name, noisy, noisy, private key. You have to make sure that this is actually exactly the same. Block producers, uh, number number and block prefix looks also okay uh, and the last thing which you can uh, change is how much time you will actually need to complete this procedure uh, if you will uh, transfer this via some pen drive i mean generate an action to another computer probably will need some like two maybe three minutes but if you would like to be extremely secure and this is actually a good idea uh, you have also a possibility to for example increase this to some greater value like 20 minutes and then generate a transaction and as you can see here you have uh, the raw transaction and what, what you can actually do instead of uh, copying this to um, another computer with the pen drive you could actually type this manually to another computer yes that would require uh, a lot of typing but that will be actually the safest way of voting because there will be no risk that uh, by some, uh, I don't know, some mal malware virus or anything else on your pen drive, you would transfer uh, your private key to another computer. But uh, in this example, I will just copy that, copy it uh, to not make this video too long. Uh, we need uh, to save this into some text file. Mm -hmm. And let's save this, save this to the pen drive okay uh, this transaction is ready it's a uh, sign uh, it's it contains all information uh, don't be mistaken about this exp expiration date uh, because this uh, can differ uh, from your time because uh, time zones are also involved uh, it, it should be okay uh, and uh, let's move this uh, already generated transaction to uh, another computer right eject and we can move mm, okay we have pen drive here we have our raw transaction so what do we need we need to copy it and go to step three yes paste it here uh, you need to also specify the endpoint uh, it will be best to use the same uh, one more time and just click send transaction uh, to the network and as you can see here we got response from the uh, network that you uh, successfully um, broadcasted your transaction uh, you see that you voted for those block producers so everything is uh, okay uh, basically that would be uh, all about uh, voting offline uh, i hope that this material uh, is helpful for you you need to know that actually you can do a lot of uh, things offline uh, in uh, in every blockchain so uh, in the future you may uh, also 
uh, ask us, for example, how to do generate a transaction uh, to between different accounts, uh, because all of that is, of course, possible and it's much, much safer. Mm, that would be all right now. Thank you one more time for, for your attention and I hope that that was uh, helpful. Uh, I'm Krzysztof from uh, Tokenika and see you around. Bye.